Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of Victoria 2 Heart of Darkness Zombies! Whoa -ha 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 -ha. So, guys, we're back here in this episode where I started World Bremen. Um, we have not found out if the Prussians have joined in yet. We'll find out right about now. Oh, the Prussians joined in. That's sweet, but kind of pointless because Prussia should know I am way more powerful than that. Plus, there is absolutely no way they can actually get to my military, so... Stinks to be them! Okay, anyways, we have a couple new states being added to added to us. Let's just keep moving down the list of almost all of South America. And I almost have all of South America protected right now. We just need to get a couple more places down here, and then we have all of South America. Which is going to be good. I mean, we don't have to necessarily colonize all of the insides. I mean, the places that we need to colonize are the places with valuable metals. Me minerals and places with precious you know iron coal or you know precious metals <laughs> um but the only places I can see that are kinda gonna be worth it are places like over here which actually let's go start colonizing it because it has a little bit of sulfide in it but other than that most of South America is mostly Europeanly useless to me and my exploitive ways I mean honestly look at this it's mostly sheep and bananas so, yeah. I mean, if I want, if, I, if my goal in this game was to get bananas, I would probably win a good prize right about now. But, yeah, it's just not going to work. And, oh my goodness, I was not paying attention. When did those guys come down and destroy all my fleets? Oh my goodness, that is not good. Oh shoot, we are doomed. Oh shoot, I should have been paying attention. Oh shoot, why didn't you guys tell me? What loyal viewers are you that you guys didn't tell me? Ugh, I have to get better followers sometimes. <laughs> nah, nah, jo I'm joking, guys. If any of you guys think I'm being serious, I'm just joking from the bottom of my heart. Okay, but now since I know what the situation is like, I have to go send an army there as quickly as possible. Because now there's a 29 stack of death just sitting there in lands and starting to gain more and more. They're decreasing my population, which isn't good, and they might release the Panamas from my control, which are two things I do not like. So let's go fix that up right about now. Um, Prussia, as an army standpoint, has nothing. So I could honestly just go walk over to them and just be like, yep, okay, you guys want annexation? Good. Now let's just move over here. Do, 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 okay. And we're going to see if the Prussians have anything to offer as a typhoid fever, quarantine the affected state. We have done this many times. If anyone gets affected with disease, we quarantine them, and then we shoot them all dead. That is how we solve all our problems. Okay? Okay. America. <laughs> I, I just want to admit, I abuse that so much. Like, seriously. There was one thing I know, is that anything I say about America, and you guys will say, yep, it's true. Or if I say it's, like, completely racist, you guys will be like, yep, it's true. I'll be like, yeah, it is kind of true. Okay, seems like they ripped through the Quinto region. And I'm sending my troops down there as quickly as possible. Okay. And we got some more people that want more beer in America. Not surprising. Okay. You guys go down here. Go crush these guys. Seriously. We need to go crush all these rebels. Ah, oh, dang. They might, they're probably going to win before I can get over there. Okay. Yep. They're probably going to win. Wickedness must be stamped out. Okay. You guys go kill these zombies. Go kill these stupid beeping zombies. I mean, let's go do it like Cool James style. Do, 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 do. Bam! Okay. So now we got them all killed. Go start. You will be our new protector over here too. Go start like reconquesting all this land. And welcome to the world, Nicaragua. And I did say that right. Okay. And right next to the capital of... Well, let me, let me go destroy this army right here. The only army that they have. Oh, gosh. I could probably go take some more land from these guys, too. So, let's see. What do I want from this war? Because I'm already winning it. I already know. So, let's see. Acquire state of Brandenburg. Uh, Brandenburg gives me Berlin. Well, actually, I want a kind of a coastal province, like, right about here. So, let's see. Uh, oh, dang it. I can't get this place right here because it's already, like, a part of the empire. But... Maybe if we get this place right here of Mendenburg, Mendenburg, that'd be really nice. So let's see, Mendenburg, let's go right there, take that. That way we have a kind of good kind of 
overall effect. That way it'd be really easy to colonize all this. And once I have enough money, I'll be colonially investing into Europe soon, which will be awesome. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're starting our European theater, guys. That's all I gotta say. We're starting our European theater, and soon the goodness of the world and the and the goodness of protection, non-freedom, and non-liberty will be spread across the world with America. Okay, so you guys go out here, go take out these revoltings. I'll search up- No, why do I care about these random places in the world? Like, seriously, they're, they're random. Even by, by my standards, definitely it's random. Okay, and we got a couple of places that are now being converted. Create a protectorate. Yes, we got to all the way to the end there. Create a protectorate and create a protectorate. There we go. Wah ha 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 ha. Yes, America. Okay, and let's see, how big is this state? Uh, pretty small, but we might as well keep colonizing it. Okay, and then just let's just keep going up. Let's keep going down here. Just make sure. Uh, probably should colonize this part first, and then I can't colonize that. Dang it. Wait, wait a minute. Yeah, let's finish up. Hmm. Should I finish up the rest of this? Or should I? no, 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 no. I'm not going to withdraw here. Okay, in Europe. Ha <laughs> ha Let's start a colonization. Wait, in Hamburg? Okay, yes, Hamburg's a part of that. Okay, let's start colonization. Let's start conquering all this land. Take over the capital. Now let's go down over here to the regions I need. Because I'm taking Malgenburg. So I might as well take the regions I need. Wickedness must be stamped out. The girls from Madison. Probably revolting against the, ra the fact that we don't give them any kind of liberty or anything like that. Because we just don't believe in that. Okay, uh, you guys get on the ships. You guys will probably be my Panama control army. Because I really don't think we'll be able to control this without accurately portraying everything. Because there we go. And let's see. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is so sad. Nigeria is split into half and oh shyster. That is not a good sign. Zombies are starting to break out all over our neighbors of Mexico. And the USCA, that is not good. I'm hoping that they're going to be able to get control over it, because otherwise I'm going to have to go to war with them and then go stomp out the zombies at the same time. So, futurely, I'm going to have to start moving all my armies right to the border. Um, probably should start building more armies at the same time, because we're a little bit low on manpower, I admit it. About now we should have a bigger army, but I'm just, eh, I'm just not feeling it right now with the big gigantic armies. You know what I mean? Prussia, you want to give me what I want? Thank you. Wait, why am I giving up so quickly? I could add more. I could add more. Wow, that sounds really bad, but I could add... No, I can't add more. Dang it, my people are not genuistic enough. Dang it, you you were saved by the wrath of my people. <laughs> they don't want to be as genuistic as I am being right now. So, another place in North America conquered. And France seems to be grouping up pretty nicely. Um... Spain actually has a decent sized army now. That's actually kind of cool. Uh, how well could they fight me? Probably not very well. Okay, so now that we're done with that war and we're starting to expand almost everywhere in the world, I mean, I gotta start thinking about bigger armies, bigger stuff, and all American products. That's what I have to start thinking about. So let's open up machine parts. Um. Yeah, I think we could probably keep these. No, no, the steel mill does not make any sense. What am I, what am I saying? The steel mill does not make any sense. And, oh my goodness. How many capitalists do we have in our country right now? Just so I kind of get a good idea of how much we have. There's how many capitalists? 27,000. That's a good amount of capitalists. Not as many as I hope we would have. But yeah. Okay. What we're going to have to do is first of all, I'm going to start reconquesting all this land. And then second off. I'm going to start repairing some of the armies that I already noticed. So this army is okay. This army right here is a little bit imbalanced. It has like no soldiers. So let's start fixing that. It needs... Wait, let me just see. It needs about... It needs one horseman, three, three soldiers, and two cannons. So if you guys could remember that for me, that'd be nice. Three of these, one of these, and two of these. Okay, now that we got that army now fleshed out, let's create another army. One, two, three, four. 
wait, one, two, three, four, five, and then one right here. Then we create another horseman unit, just two, just two, just two. I, I want to delete that one, thank you. Uh, one right here, okay, and then five, four cannons. And let's be one, two, three, four, five, six, you know, wait, five cannons, sorry. And there we go, that's going to be our new army that's going to be being created while we are conquering the world. The world. Okay, and we have more money, so that means I'm going to expand our naval bases again. But I need to kind of slow down time because it does take a little bit of effort. But I want the game to be going, so I'm going to kind of continue the game. So Norfolk, let's get that expanded, let's get this expanded, do 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 do. Tampa, not really needs to be expanded, and apparently I ran out of money again. Dang it. <laughs> so close, guys. So close. Okay. And then I should also be looking for where a good supply limit places for these guys. Nowhere in nowhere in, in Arizona is, is this place hospita hospitable. Go to San Diego. Yeah, San Diego sounds like a much better place, and gosh dang it, those zombies are starting to overrun. The government, that is not good. I'm going to have to declare... No, wait, Mexico seems to have it under control and not have it under control at the same exact time. It makes no sense to me at this point, but... Yeah, that's what's happening over there. Okay, there's some more Americanist stuff happening over here. Zombies are... Okay, I'm going to go... I'm seriously... I'm seriously now just going to go conquer some of these little tiny states. Because this is, this is just becoming, like, annoying... Like, seriously, I'm tired of these quarantine zones not figuring out how to deal with zombies. And so I have to always be, like, the mediator of the group. It's like, dude, just go kill your zombies. It's not that hard. I mean, I did it, like, 16 different times in 16 different ways. I mean, usually we're supposed to, like, America's supposed to, like, collapse from this. But we're, like, surviving like a major thriving country should. Uh, whatever. Just do whatever you have to. I'm just going to start colonizing all of this part. <laughs> This is all good land over here. Like, this is the good... Well, actually, the good land's over here in Austria, but I'm gonna have to slowly work my way over there. Um, luxurious factory, I'm not even gonna mind. That can stay open. I'm the Transversals! Uh, apparently I got a force to repay debt. Why would I want to go into that? Force to repay debt. Again, why would I want to go into that? Got more... Got more colonial badness. I don't really care at this point. <laughs> Long live the USA in that state. Okay, excellent. Excellent. Okay, so let's see. Do we want realism, emancipation? We can get emancipationism. Oh, excuse me, that people. Mm-hmm. All right. So we have all of our troops set up right on the border for when the zombies are seemingly going to attack me. Um, this is not good. I mean, this is this is a ca a catastrophe. If the zombies were to somehow break through my lines. We would have absolutely no defense against them. And I'm being honest, we would be destroyed if the zombies came over here. And the source of the Nile discovered! Our interbred explorers have mapped out the source of the Nile and have brought glory and prestige to our country. And because we did not get wiped out by zombies, we are a great, glorious nation and it's a great day for science. Oh gosh. I wonder, you know, it's kind of funny to think of that, well, it's not funny to think of, it's kind of like ironic to think of that at this point in time, and with all the advancements in technology of like, you know, the machine gun and, you know, different things of like that, people still didn't know what the full world looked like. I mean, it was still very much uncharted land to everyone. Which is, you know, kind of weird to think about, but it's so true. Like, the world was still very much uncharted, unlivable, no one really knew what the world... You know, people had ideas still, but no one knew exactly where everything was. No one knew what the North Pole was, no one knew what the South Pole was. It was a big, gigantic mess. More crusade... Holy shoot, there's the armies of the zombies. That is not good, they're starting to come over my borders. Yep. Oh, fudgical. Okay. Okay. I could win this. I'm just going to need the help of every single unit I have. I am not losing. I have created a safe and an unspiring America. I'm not going to let zombies ruin that just because my stupid neighbors are stupid. Okay? And that's the way I'm justifying anything in the future. My stupid neighbors are stupid. Okay? 
I have worked way too dang hard to create a safe America. I am not going to ruin it now by creating an unsafe America. So you guys, you guys are two troops, I think. You guys get on there. Okay, my men should be able to crush that little tiny zombie horde because it's just a zombie horde. And apparently, zombies spawn in the exact same places I was just not protecting. That is lovely to note. Also, I think I got my causes bell eye to conquer you guys. Not yet. It's still coming. It'll come in about a couple turns, but once it does, I'm going to go kill you. Because you guys are causing zombies to spawn in my land, which is not a good thing. I'm trying to keep the rest of the world safe, but you guys are making it very unsafe. So let's see, that's a forceman. That's a, that's a cannon. That's a cannon. Let's see, that's a soldier. That's a soldier. That's a soldier. So all you guys right here, go right here to go complete that army. So Mexico is basically being overran by zombies. Zombies. I should be seeing the zombies here in a very few amount of time. If if I have to, guys, I will use the tactic of, you know, go in and retreat, go in and retreat, go in and retreat, you know, that kind of thing. I'm not going to, if the zombies are way too big for my army to deal with, I'm not just going to go hit them off immediately. Because with America's vast amount of land, we could use that to our own advantage. And basically be able to colonially, come on, I believe the resources could be spent elsewhere we need to enact more comprehend oh, wait wait colonial education policy I believe <sighs> come on seriously you need to be kind to your own colonists you know if if the reason why you guys are being if the reason why they want to be peace and revolt and you know wanted to be separate from the empire was because you guys treated them so badly I mean if if the empires of the world had actually treated their colonies badly Maybe actually treat them like real states, and I know that would never happen. But if they actually did, they would actually see that a lot more people would want to be, would want to join them in their like endeavors to like you know do stuff. But instead, they just like completely treat them like nothing, and so they would always be like, "Well, why are we underneath this guy's rule when we could just be under our own rule? Or why would we?" Holy oh, shoot, that was a ton of rebels. I mean, this is. <laughs> I swear, this is going to be the fight, guys. We are in, like, the stage 6 fight where, like, tons of zombies are going to start coming into my land. So, I have all of my troops ready. I have enough troops just in case if things go really bad. 159, divi 159 divisions just in case if things start going bad to fall back on. That is a good number to have during a zombie apocalypse. So, that's good. Um, Sending my soldiers to go... Right here to Bakwa, or whatever that is, sending my ships to go right here. And we have a 20 stack death stack right there. That's a lot of soldiers right there. I'm not even going to deny people. That is a lot of soldiers. We are dealing with astronomically big numbers now. The zombies completely overran Mexico and the USCA after all the hard work I'd done to keep them alive. They just up and die. Seriously, what, un what uncivilized and rude people they are. Uh, but anyways, we're now going to have to look at and see what hordes we're going to have to deal with and what hordes we have to kind of pick off. Um, big gigantic hordes, I'm going to try to leave to other people, or not to leave to other people. I'm going to try to pick off those for later because those are just really, really difficult. Um, but yeah, this is, this is starting to become the final hour. We have real Mexican zombies coming on our border. A lot of Mexican zombies coming out of border. Holy shoot. Okay, do we have another army built up yet? Let's see, we have four soldiers. Okay, the first one, the first horde we have to destroy is that 76 unit. That is way too big of an army. Okay, intervene immediately. Okay, pause for a second. Okay, I'm not gonna, we have worked way too, ah! And this is the one problem I see with this game, is that for some reason they create like gigantic hordes I'm trying to figure out how the heck we build. But, oh gosh, this is not good. They have like 70k armies just right there on the borders. Um, I could possibly defend... Uh, you know what, before the, before the episode ends, I'm gonna go look to see what we have to deal with. If this is all they have, I'm gonna group up my armies to go like make super duper gigantic armies. Giganto armies. I need to go across that army right there though. That 169 troops are just way too many. Yeah, go crush, go start crushing some of these little tiny 47 troops. Okay, yeah, let's go do that. Okay. 213. 237 zombie stacks. Okay, do not move that way. 
Um, yeah. This is a big crucial point, guys. Because this is where we have to defend. And I don't want to give up the freedom and liberties. Well, not really freedom and liberties. But the point of protection that's going to happen. The showdown between the USA and the Zombles are about to begin. <sighs> but sadly, people, that will be on next episode. So I want to thank you guys for watching. And I want to see you guys next time.